Hello everyone. In this session, we will solve questions based on circular permutations. In the previous session, we have discussed what are circular permutations. In order to understand the concept clearly, let us solve some questions based on circular permutations. Please refer to previous parts of the tutorial in order to understand what is circular permutation. Here is the question one. Three ladies and three gents can be seated at a round table so that any two and only two of the ladies sit together. The number of ways is. So here we have to calculate how many different ways we can arrange three ladies and three gents around a circular table. But the condition here is two ladies should sit together. So in order to solve this question, First, let us see without any condition how we can arrange three ladies and three gents around the circular table. So, without any condition means three ladies, three gents. So, total number of persons are six. So, six people can be arranged around a circular table in six minus one factorial ways. That is five factorial ways. So, without any condition, we can arrange six persons around a table in five factorial ways. Now let us consider the condition what it is given. So two ladies should sit together. Let us consider two ladies as one group. The remaining people are three gents, one lady that is four plus other two ladies will be considered as one group which is one. So which is five, five people. We can consider it as five people. So five people can be arranged around a circular table in four factorial ways and those two ladies can interchange their places that means arrangement of those two ladies possible ways are into two that is four factorial into two therefore total number of arrangements are without any restriction permutations that is five factorial minus with the given condition that is four factorial into two which is equals to five factorial is 120 right minus 4 factorial is 24 into 2 which is given by 120 minus 48 that is equals to 72 therefore the answer is C so with the given condition there are 72 possible ways let us look into one more different type of question based on circular permutations here we have to arrange 6 men 6 women around a table such that there is a man on either side of a woman. So first we will arrange six women around the table. So it six women can can be arranged around a circular table in five factorial ways. Right? So once ladies are arranged there will be six vacant positions next to women. In six vacant positions, we can arrange six men in six factorial ways. So men arrange men arrangement is six factorial. So from fundamental principle of counting, therefore total number of permutations are five factorial into six factorial. That is men arrangement into women arrangement. Let us look into one more different type of question. Here, five persons are sitting in a round table. In such a way that tallest person always on the right side of the shortest person. The number of such arrangements are. If you look at this question here total persons are 5 out of which tallest person should be always to the right of shortest person. So we will consider these two persons as one group that is tallest and shortest person and the remaining persons are 3. Right? So 3 plus shortest and tallest one group which makes one more group that is total number of groups are four. So these four persons we can arrange around a circular table in three factorial three factorial which is equals to three into two into one that is six and here we cannot arrange those two persons in two different ways as the condition is given that the tallest person should be always on the right side of shortest person. Therefore, total number of possibilities are 6. So, the answer is A. In next session, we will discuss combinations. Please subscribe to our channel for latest updates. Thank you for listening 
and have a nice day